Our shoulders are the link between us and the outside world. Learning how to use your shoulders properly is not only good for your physical body, but it is also good for your mind. So in today's video, we're gonna go over three different exercises to improve the health of your shoulders so you can get back to or keep doing the things you enjoy most in life. So when it comes to creating healthy shoulders, it's important that we not only look at the shoulder, but the muscles around the shoulder, and more importantly, the muscles that are attached to our rib cage. If these muscles aren't functioning properly, then likely the muscles and the smaller tendons and ligaments in our shoulder joint won't be either. So for our first technique, we are gonna be going through a lat release. Now this is simply a self-massage technique for the lat. And the reason why we are starting here is a lot of people's lat muscle tends to not operate very well and it tends to operate often in a state of compression. And we see this in a variety of different ways, such as if somebody has a winged scapula as an example. There are certainly other muscles at play that contribute to a winged scapula, but one of the primary muscles that isn't allowing this joint in through our back to operate properly is the function of the lat. So what we're gonna do here is come into a side lying position, and I would recommend that you use a softball or a ball that is roughly the shape of a softball, but maybe not quite as dense. And where are we gonna be targeting is right around the armpit. Ideally, we are gonna go just below the armpit, as you can see where I'm highlighting with my finger here, and we can kind of just walk down the tissues of the lat. What I'm gonna suggest you do here is ease your way into the release. Try not to just plop yourself onto the ball as the body can have a pretty aggressive reaction if you just kind of press yourself into it. Allow the body time to adapt to the release that is happening. And I would encourage you to try to go into some soft breathing cycles here, where you're primarily breathing through your nose, expanding into the belly, and really trying to bring your body into a more restorative state. This is going to calm the nervous system and allow the release to be that much more effective because we are putting our body into a state where it will be receptive to treatment. Once we work through both sides for a minimum of about two to three minutes, all the way up to about five minutes, we are gonna start to take that length that we just created with our release and we're gonna to start to get into a little bit more of a dynamic exercise. So the next technique we're gonna get into is going to be our single arm openers. So for this exercise, I'm gonna take both arms up and I'm essentially just gonna have both fists facing one another. From this position here, I'm gonna to start to open up one arm into a external rotation as I slowly start to rotate my rib cage away from that. The arm that I took into the external rotation, I'm gonna to start to rotate back in as I begin to turn my upper body back into it. What I'm looking to do here is create a baseline of tension in through my pecs and through my serratus on the front side here, as well as through my lats. And what we are starting to do is utilize these mus muscles both through their short and their long cycles as we kind of orient our rib cage and our upper body around it. My other arm is more or less staying in this hook position throughout. And we're just gonna be working one arm at a time, ideally focusing on the scapular positioning here, making sure that it's not compressing in towards the spine and it's ideally staying flush on the rib cage the entire time. If you start to notice any type of excess of winging of the scapula or any type of positioning of the shoulder itself where it doesn't appear to be flush, then what I would suggest is trying to revisit some of the tensions that I was just talking about in through the shoulder joint and see if you can imagine kind of pulling the scapula away from the spine as you go through. So it's almost as if I'm reaching away as I'm rotating my body counter to that. As for repetitions, I would encourage you to go through about eight to 12 repetitions per side. Now that's not to say that those are the magical numbers, but more or less just a framework for you to work towards. If you feel that you can get five to eight high quality repetitions, and that does enough to put the proper tension and length back into the shoulder, 
then I would encourage you to stick with that. And then you can start to work up to a higher rep count. So just like a lot of the exercises we do, we have started with a release technique to try to create some space and some length into the tissue, as well as allow our nervous system to get into a state where it's gonna be more responsive to treatment. We followed that up with a corrective exercise that essentially implements the programming into the body so our shoulder joint now registers what muscles need to activate cer through certain ranges of motion. So the last piece of the pie here is taking that length that we created from our self-massage technique, as well as the programming that we put in from the corrective exercise, and we start to implement a rhythm and a more dynamic motion of the shoulder to go through. So for this last technique, we are gonna go through lateral kettlebell swings. So grab yourself a kettlebell, I would say anywhere between five to 15 pounds is probably a good region to start at. And what we are gonna to start to do is simply just start with a swing with that kettlebell, just kind of going back and forth in front of us and just kind of getting used to that rhythm around the stability of the shoulder joint that we just created in the previous exercise. As you can see here, my arm is going from a internal rotation and then it's going out into that external rotation, which is exactly what we were mimicking in our previous exercise. So to start with, just get used to the arm turning in, turning back out, as you are just going through that very subtle rhythm from side to side. As you get used to the tension, as well as the coordination that is involved in the movement, we can start to increase the range of motion. And what we are gonna start doing here is essentially just reaching a little bit more from side to side. I'm going to make sure that I have principles around ground tension involved in this exercise, as that is going to help to connect things like my feet, my hips, and everything kind of between my shoulders and the ground. Once I kind of have that baseline of tension, all I'm gonna do is just work that lateral swing for about 12 to 15 repetitions here. Again, these bigger ranges of motion, as well as this higher rep count, is something to work towards and not necessarily start from. So take your time going through this exercise, as well as the exercises that we covered previously, as ultimately it's going to be practice and repetition just like anything else that is ultimately gonna allow you to upgrade the health of your shoulders. So as you can see, when it comes to creating shoulders that function well and that are healthy, it's important to look at not only the shoulder, but how it links to the rest of the body. Typically, our shoulders aren't the only problem, but rather the failure of our shoulder linking to these other systems in the body. So if you wish to fix your shoulder pain, or just improve shoulder function, remember that the shoulders are only one piece of the pie. And as they say, it's a lot better to have your pie and eat it too. I can't believe I just said that. Oh man. Anyways, I am all out of pie jokes for the day. So that's gonna be all for today's video. If you liked it, then make sure to throw it a like. If you want more content around lifestyle optimization and really just creating self mastery, then I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more future content. Until next time, make sure you are prioritizing and then you are optimizing for you. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.